Report, Trump devastates 29 sanctuary cities, look what he's taking away. President Trump made it clear that under his administration, there would be zero tolerance for illegal immigration. Over the course of this year, he has instructed the federal government to crack down on this problem. The results have been a decrease in illegal entry as well as arrests and deportations in the hundreds. But he's not done yet. It's obvious that numerous cities, counties, and states have worked to undermine U.S. immigration law. These sanctuaries refuse to cooperate with federal law enforcement in favor of protecting criminal aliens. The president has had it with these rogue regions and has given them an ultimatum. From Conservative Tribune The Department of Justice recently warned 29 jurisdictions that their so-called sanctuary policies were in violation of federal immigration laws and gave them a fast-approaching deadline to scrap those policies. On November 15, the departments informed officials in Illinois, Oregon, and Vermont, along with 26 cities and counties around the country, that they were found to have laws, policies or practices that violate federal immigration laws, according to the Washington Examiner. The jurisdictions were also given an ultimatum, comply with Section 1373 of H. U.S. Code by December 8 or forfeit their public safety grants given under the DOJ's Edward Bryan Memorial Justice Assistance Grant Program, which funds millions of dollars yearly to support local law enforcement. Section 1373 prohibits local and state governments from enacting laws or policies that limit communication with Immigration and Customs and Border Protection about information regarding the immigration or citizenship status of individuals. Here are all the other jurisdictions that received notice from the DOJ, as having sanctuary policies that violate the law. Albany, New York, Berkeley, California, Bernalillo County, New Mexico, Burlington, Vermont, Contra Costa County, California, City and County of Denver, Colorado, Fremont, California, Jackson, Miss, King County, Washington, Lawrence, Mass, Los Angeles, California, Louisville, Metro, Key, Middlesex, New Jersey, Monterey County, California, Multnomah County, or, Newark, New Jersey, Riverside County, California, Sacramento County, California, City and County of San Francisco, California, Santa Ana, California, Santa Clara County, California, Seattle, Washington, Sonoma County, California, Watsonville, California, and West Palm Beach, Florida. There is zero excuse for any lawmakers that put criminal aliens ahead of American citizens. These pathetic leaders liberals a lot of them care more about protecting dangerous people, rather than the well-being of their city or state. How could any leader violate federal law to protect criminals? Yet this is what the Democratic Party has been reduced to. Their desperate attempts as using the legal aliens for their own agenda is finally backfiring. Their insane sanctuary policies will only hurt them and the citizens who live in those areas. The effects of Trump's decision will be felt by Americans. Which means the people must vote out any leader that endorses sanctuary policies. What other option do they have? Have.